this recording? Woo! <coughs> oh man, here we go. Test one, two, three. Woo! I think we're good. Test one, two, three. Woo! -hoo! Let's talk about lav mics. Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about audio because I haven't really talked about audio before and audio is actually way more important than video when it comes to filmmaking. And the reason why is because when you watch something that's visually off, you can actually forgive it a lot more easier than hearing something bad like a scratch or the audio is just completely muted. For some reason the brain doesn't register that and it's just, it just makes you feel weird, like you did something wrong. And that's why it's so important to capture good audio when you're filmmaking. Now there's a bunch of great mics out there, but today I wanted to talk about lav mics or lavalier mics or lapel mics. Lav mics are these tiny little microphones that you can clip onto subjects or hide in places to capture great audio. Lav mics aren't so much used when it comes to narrative films unless it's like a last resort, but they're particularly great when it comes to documentaries, especially when you're filming people, whether they're sitting down or if they're walking somewhere. Somewhere. Setting up a lav is pretty easy. Most lavs come with a clip, so make sure to make a loop, which makes the wire easier to hide under the shirt, as well as prevents tension on the mic itself. The most common place to set the mic is on the chest of the person you're filming. A good rule of thumb is to place the mic somewhere above the nipple line, <laughs> nipple line, and under the chin, about right there. You can also hide the mic underneath the collar using some tape. I prefer gaff tape because it doesn't leave any residue. The best way to do this is to fold the gaff tape into a triangle place the mic on it and hide it under the collar. If the subject is wearing a t-shirt, you can either clip the mic on top of the shirt or you can hide the mic underneath the shirt. Again, just use gaff tape and fold it into a triangle and place the mic under the shirt. For me, I don't like seeing any mics at all, which is why I like using the Rode Invisalov because it makes for a clean setup and prevents any noise you hear from rustling clothes. If the person you're filming has long hair, you can actually hide the mic underneath their hair, or if they have a cap, you can actually hide the mic under the brim of the cap. And that's why I love using lav mics. You can place them anywhere and capture great audio. Anyway, a company called Aspen Mics sent me their lavalier to review, and that's the HQS lavalier. The S stands for stereo. They also have other versions, the HQM, which stands for mono, which you can connect to a device like an iPhone or an iPad and capture audio that way, and the HQSE, which is a mic compatible for the wireless Sennheiser system. So today, we're going to test out three different lav mics. We got the Aspen Mic HQS, we got the Rode Smart Love Plus, which is what I'm wearing right now, and we have the Sennheiser ME4 from the Sennheiser G3 wireless system. Each mic will be recorded on three different devices at roughly around the same levels, and each mic will be placed roughly in the same area of the subject that I'll be filming. And to make this audio test legit, I have asked Britain's most prominent presenter, also winner of the 2003 Slovenian Spelling Bee Decathlon, reciting one of her favorite Shakespearean sonnets. Enjoy. His palms are sweaty and his weak arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already, mum's spaghetti. He's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud. He opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. He's choking, how everybody's joking now. The clock's run out, time's up, over, blow. Snap back to reality, oh, there goes gravity, oh, there goes rabbit, he choked, he's so mad, but he won't give up that easy. You better lose yourself in the music, the moment you own it, you better never let it go. You only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow, this opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Mm. So beautiful. So what do I think? I honestly thought that the Sennheiser would win just because it's such a common mic used by many indie filmmakers, followed by the Rode Smart Love Plus. I honestly didn't think the Aspen mics would do so well, but it actually held its own, considering it's the cheaper mic out of the three. The Aspen Mics HQS costs about 45 US dollars. The Rode Smart Love Plus costs about 67 US dollars. And the Sennheiser ME4 costs about 140 US dollars. Pretty incredible that a $45 mic can compete with big companies like Rode and Sennheiser. That's value. Anyway, which mic did you guys think did better? Let me know in the comments below and I'd love to hear what you have to say. Big thanks to Aspen Mics for sending me that mic to review. If you wanna check out this lav or any other of their products, then you can check out the website in the link below. And a huge thanks to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that and I appreciate you. Hopefully this content was helpful to you and if it was, then hit that like button and subscribe. Also, I now have an official Amazon store. So if you're interested in seeing the gear that I'm currently using, then you can check out my store in the link below. Right, I gotta go and do stuff, but I'll catch you in the next video. 
Peace.